Good morning, everyone. Today you get the sitting outside in a hat and a sweatshirt version of check-in because it's the week after Easter and Holy Week. And so I almost said Christmas. And so that's just kind of pastor life right now. Um, so the weather report, heavens to Betsy, this weather is just fantastic. Good morning, Linda. Um, I am so excited. I'm sitting out um, on our little back porch area and um, this, I'm so excited to have the furniture out. I put the furniture out and everything this past week and I'm just so excited to be spending um, some time out here and to relax and to enjoy the beautiful weather that we have been given. Um, and so this, but today I wanted to kind of check in about Easter. Um, Easter is, is kind of a big deal in, in the church. Um, and I, I hope that you are, are hearing that with all of the sarcasm because it is definitely an absolutely very, very big deal. Um, in the church because it is the reason um, that we distinguish, that's how we distinguish ourselves as Christians, um, recognizing what Jesus did on Easter and, and through all then the everything that happened the week before and then everything culminating in Easter and then as Easter as that starting point then for for our lives and for the rest of history. And so, um, oh, thanks, Melanie likes my the sound of my wind chimes. Yes, those were a present from my um, parents a few Christmases ago, and they're my favorite. I love them. Um, so Easter is a very big deal, but it is also something that is very, very difficult to understand because it is this Jesus raising from the dead and there's all of these questions and and how do we understand this and um I was I was on a walk this past week and um and I and I shared with this friend that really what I wish that I could get up and say that I had the courage to say on Easter morning is life sucks like life can really life is really hard sometimes but there's Jesus and Jesus gives us hope. And really, like for me, that is the story of Easter. And that's just what Easter comes down to, is that life is hard. Like we have difficult lives. Um, we all are go through different things. I mean, this year, come on. Like this year has shown us that life is hard, but it's also shown us that with faith and, and with Jesus, with, and, and when I say Jesus, I mean, um, in, in living a life that is focused on, on Jesus, on, on recognizing that God is with us and that the spirit is with us in our lives and, um, in living a life in the church, um, in the church community and, and being supported and loved by the church and, and all that comes with Jesus, the whole package that is, um, that is the hope that is Easter. And, and that is what makes this hard life um worth it and and easy a little bit easier sometimes and um I am I am a little bit obsessed right now with gardening I'm so excited for um to be able to plant a garden this year in the side of the house and so I want to show you some of my plants that I grew from seeds and um I'm going to switch the camera around and this for me shows um, just the example of life is hard and we all have different experiences and different circumstances um, and we grow in different ways and, and, and that's okay. Um, but I, th I, I think of Jesus, um, Jesus as the fertilizer and that just kind of came to me this morning. And so I hope that you will um, just kind of give me the grace in the silliness of that. But these, I mean, look at, look at my cucumber plants, guys. 
I'm so excited. They're gonna be pickling cucumbers and then I have tomatoes. Look at, there's two different kinds of tomatoes. I don't know which one's which because I didn't label them. And then over here, there's two different kinds of peppers and I didn't label those either, so I don't know what they are. And then I have my one lonely lettuce plant that came up. And they all come up at a different time. They all like like the cucumbers, they came up super quick. And it was and it was so exciting to see those come up and they're big now and I gotta I gotta replant them. And and then the tomatoes came up next, but then the peppers over here were not growing and I was a little concerned that I wasn't gonna get any peppers. But now there's a whole bunch of them growing. And these look, this one, this little dude, he's growing, he's there, but he's just taking a little bit. And so for me, this is the church community. And this is like, we all have our own little path. We all have our own way of growing and our own circumstances, but we are together in it. And, and Jesus is, like I said, Jesus is the fertilizer. So I hope that that is helpful. Um, and just, just hanging on to that hope, that hope of Jesus and, and letting Jesus be your fertilizer when life is hard. Um, and, and knowing that you can come to other people, knowing that you can come to us as a church, you can come to me as the pastor, um, and as a friend, and I would love to be with you and pray with you, um, through whatever you're going through, because we all have our stuff. So I, I hope that that gives you just, um, a little kernel to hold on to as you go into the rest of the week. And, um, this Sunday we are going to be talking about, um, doubting Thomas, or like my friend Katie calls it him, pouting Thomas because he wasn't there when um, Jesus came to the rest of the disciples and he didn't, and Thomas didn't see Jesus. And so he was like, well, I don't, I don't believe it. I'm not, a, I don't get it. And he goes, I want to see. And so we're going to be talking about that. And, and the sermon title is until I see. And um, I'm excited for this Sunday. And then we're going to go into a series on courage and the courage that it takes to have faith in this world. Um, so I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and um, are able to enjoy this just fantastic weather that we have been gifted. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.